Don't you see the worst, worst fair? The worst fair, even though there was something important I would like to have said, that I was not able to say it. But I think it was a fair decision. I still am open, but when you see my daughter, and my will has not been changed, and it won't change. She tore us apart when she took Deborah away from us, and that's one reason why I, I don't want to see her. It's too hard. It's too hard to just look at pictures of Deborah all the time. I would have liked to have gotten everything that I asked for, because it wasn't just for child care, but I'm happy with what I got. This is an insane business and people tend to be a bit whack. I understand no. Judge Judy understands no. Mr. Williams doesn't. No one will ever speak up against him or, or stand up for themselves. And that was what es essentially I was doing. I think he'd be better as a painter and decorator. <laughs> guy who gets on the pipe. This well, guy is dangerous. You know that him. is defamation of pipe. character. It's that reality, darling. It's reality. All that I did for you. Oh, this is your payback. That's, who you That's should your, should your payback. Because you're standing there lying and you're implicating your me car in this. Your karma is just in the dog to do with it. All Karma is, is about money. So, you know, once again, I, you know, what can I say? I was a fool, but I just hope others will learn and be warned that there are types like this that uh, prey on people that come to Hollywood plan on making a career out here and then get suckered in, abused, and used. You guys are musicians, man, and you guys do your thing and I'll do my thing, you know? They don't mix, they don't mix, you know? Well, it's two different styles of music. You see, they don't blend, you know? So, yeah. Go see him. Go hear him. Am I gonna fight you? Look at you, you probably beat me up. What's the deal, man? Out of jail. No, and with a lousy cushion because of it. He's the man obviously has a problem telling the truth. Look at this. It's totally, that was not even like that. Good, hello. This wasn't like this either when you broke it. Look at it, it's so fake. You probably like broke that yourself. Hello, it totally won't new. even <laughs> shut. We haven't spoken in five months, so that's been kind of weird because we usually talk on a daily basis. I'm tired of, of, like, taking all this abuse, you know, from supposedly my best friend. I haven't gotten along for over a year, and she's just looking for someone to blame, and her friend's backing her up on a lie. We think that they were going to try and change their story like how they did, and Judge Judy caught him in it. Supposedly, Jade went home, and she wouldn't, she, no one let her out of the house. <laughs> That night, well, geez, you know what? Her mom paged her after her car got keyed at 3.30 in the morning. And oops, look at 84 eggs on Jessica's car. And house. And house. My mom, as soon as the police left my house, she told me I wasn't going anywhere. And I know she went home and her grandparents didn't let her go anywhere, so. You know, I'm in the United States Navy. I'm almost 20 years old. And I don't need to come home and tell mommy, you know, where I went and what happened, what happened, because the cops called our house. What I understand is mother-in-law has to have a surgery and he's trying to get money to pay for it. We found out many things later. Guy been married three times, not twice. Had three children, not one. I just don't think that uh, justice prevailed this time. As usual, Judge Judy was smart. She, she knew what's going on. I know there was never a ring and I know it deep in my heart. A lie, but you know, I have all my information to prove it and I did have witnesses to prove it too. He was very pressuring towards me. Be careful, I trust. He even wanted to get with one of my best friends. Why would I date him? Totally untrue. Don't get into something with anybody before you proceed with anything. She 
think it's a shame that you can't contact the Los Angeles Police Department, which I still haven't heard from when you get treated like this? Well, I think the judge was fair, and I, I think the case clearly shows that it was a case of uh, retaliation for having received a speeding citation. I don't even want to drive around my neighborhood because I know that he might tell his friends or he might stop me. It was a malicious letter, uh, attack on my uh, personal character and the officer in performance of his duties. I don't feel that uh, this in any way, this letter will affect the officer's uh, assignment nor will it hinder him for promotion in later life. If they're going to make a complaint against an officer, make sure that it's uh, forthright and uh, truthful. I think it was just. I'm just very upset, actually. I didn't feel I should pay, have to pay for shirts that basically I, I wasn't supposed to be using in the first place. It was a verbal contract. I thought verbal contracts held up, and I, I guess not. I guess because he's with my ex-wife, he doesn't like me. Well, actually, I don't like him because the guy just never pays child support. Personal vendetta, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. Honestly, it did be dad describes for him more than anything else. I believe that uh, it'll all be taken care of. Step out. I don't get to see them anymore, so that's I'm fine with that. I did him that favor, and he tried to in the end, and I'm just happy that I got my money out of it. They're not getting any money off of him anymore. They're just trying to find out another way on how to get it. They're just trying to get money out of me because uh, she doesn't know who her baby's dad is. I was dating him and my friend at the same time. I'm not her baby's daddy. Very frustrating because I was doing him a favor. It's just wrong how he treated her. He said he was going to pay her back, and he didn't. I won't see him ever again. Never get a cell phone for anybody <laughs> else in my name again. Well, you see, he was trying to get custody of his children, and once he found out that my sister told the children's guardian at Lightham that he has a crack problem, he lost his children, and therefore he no longer works for me. She's referring to a drug problem that I've had a few years ago, and um, I've got help for her. I felt that it maybe if he worked with me and had some stability and a good, stable job, that he could maybe get his kids back. And we're still going to court for that. He's a good person. I still love him. No thoughts on that. The building was unpermitted. There was never an unsafe facility. I was called one time to bring them water. There was always certified coaches because there was no water at the facility. We provided chilled water, no bathroom, bathroom, no so, lights, and there was always somebody there watching over the kids. Even though I did eat the sandwich, I felt I was entitled to <laughs> money's back because she operated without a business license. Catch up on bills.